hey guys welcome back to my channel so now i am present with the next video on our five days revision series and this video is for how you can revise your ca intermediate eis sm in just five days so i would suggest that first of all you should complete with your revision cycle one as i always say that means you should give at least of 10 days to each subject but still if you have a, short, a shortage of time or if you are well prepared with that subject then you can refer to, to this video and can revise your whole subject in 5 days. So uh, if you will follow my plan then you should start with your EIS. It is comparatively uh, you can say difficult or um, technical and lengthy also the chapters in eis are lengthy also but if you will complete your eis in the initial days then what will happen uh, you will have some confidence that i have completed the tough part and now i am left with the easy or you can say comfortable part because i find most of the students are comfortable in strategic management right so what you can do is you should start with eis you should first complete it try to complete it in first three days and then start with your sm so you can complete uh, comfortably revise your whole subject in five days so on day number one if you are following my plan then you should start with eis chapter number one chapter number two and chapter number five these are not very lengthy chapters so that is why i have kept it on day number one try to complete them on day number one itself and if some portion is remaining then you can continue it on day number two on day number two your target should be that your chapter number four should be completed and your chapter number three should be partly completed okay and if you can complete chapter three in uh, day number two only then that is uh, very well and good on day number three you have to complete the remaining portion of chapter number three because uh, it is a very big chapter there are three units basically in that there are three uh, not units but three portions three sub categories so that is why i have given you two days for chapter number three but you can uh, allot days as per your comfort okay and then on day number three you should start with sm as well and you should complete your chapter number one and chapter number six now why i have allotted chapter number six because it is a totally different chapter there are a lot of strategies like marketing strategies and functional strategies there are a lot of strategies okay and chapter number one is a very simple chapter but chapter number two three four five they are related so that is why i have allotted a separate day for them and on day number three you should complete with your chapter number one and chapter number six and day number four you should complete with two three four five and on day number five you should complete your seven and eight and you can also complete your remaining portion on day number five so if you follow this plan then you can easily complete your whole eis sm in five to six days okay so these are the days when you are studying only eis and sm okay this plan is for only one subject only but if you are merging any other subject with it then this plan may be extended so it is as per your comfort level but this is a tried and tested strategy uh, this is a plan for your second revision cycle where uh, you are allotting five days to each subject so that is why you should allot full day to one subject only in your second revision cycle okay so there are some additional tips which uh, i would like to give you and that are that you should keep marking and revising the topics you are feeling difficult you should divide all the topics in various categories like easy, difficult or average. Okay. And when you are uh, revising it, uh, you should do cumulative revisions first of all for the theory subjects. And also when you are revising the subject for the next time, then you should focus more on the uh, topics which you have marked difficult. And you should just uh, have an overview uh, of the topics you have marked as easy okay you should make summary charts and in front of every topic you should just write the summary of that particular topic so that you do not uh, need to read the whole content again and again in this way you will be able to quickly revise everything okay and you should uh, use colored pens to make your sticky notes your summary notes because uh, when you use colors you are more attracted towards the text you are able to concentrate better so that is why i always suggest that you should use colored pens and in this way if you will revise then you will be able to complete your syllabus very easily 
also you should merge the rtbs the uh, study material questions and the mtbs in this revision itself do not leave it for the 1.5 day leave or for the end because if you will leave it for the end and if you are stuck in any question then that will help uh, that will make your confidence very low okay so i don't want that any of my student or any of my viewer faces such situation and so i would suggest that you should complete everything in your revisions only rtb mtb everything okay so all the best guys and i would be present with another video on the next day okay so three subjects of your group 2 are completed and only advanced accounts is left so i'll uh, tell you in the next video that how you can complete your advanced accounts in five days okay till then uh, stay tuned with my channel and if you are uh, getting benefited of out of my videos then please do press the like button and please subscribe to this channel to receive more such videos thank you guys bye